a job. For you and a couple buddies. Yeah. I hope that never happens again. Thank you for saving my husband. I was so scared. So I told them to saw you, but I'm not traveling halfway across the galaxy to be Even after all this time, we're still living hand to mouth. Nothing ever changes, no matter how hard I try. Got tired of living under the boot. The UC always tells you what to do and how to do it. If you're down, they want to keep you there. I thought maybe hard work and patience would lead to better things, but it became clear that that was never going to happen. The only way out was to leave the UC behind. So I brought the family here. Things aren't much better, but at least I don't have the piglets breathing down my neck anymore. We've been given as much charity as I can stomach. Without the low house... I mean, there's something. But it's a hell of a thing to ask. As dark as things are, there are so many good people out there. Simone, my wife, has got a cousin, Milena Exelrod. Truthfully, I never much cared for Milena. But she runs freight, and I know her routes sometimes take her this way. Milena is family. Might be she'd do something for her kin. I'm looking for a job, and I'll do anything. Well, anything legal. Milena's United Colonies, like us, and I know she's got problems of her own with Aquila City. Uh, she clams up the times I've asked. Not even Simone knows. I'm sure she's run afoul of the law somehow. That's kind of how she operates. <sighs> you are an answer to our prayers. Milena called Simone yesterday. I'm pretty sure she's still in the system. Just giving me any hope. It's a lot.
Protecting the fleet doesn't get the juices flowing. You're doing it wrong. <sighs> it's supposed to be safe around here, but Cheyenne has always been just a giant bastard to me. Uh, <clears throat> unless you're a native. In which case, oh my god, I love what you've done with the place. I swear, every time I come through here, something goes to shit. But it always calls me back. Take now. I'm just supposed to be doing some deliveries and whammo! Pirates! Cheyenne's going to get me one of these days. No, not one bit. I enjoy surviving fighting pirates. Big difference. Ha! I knew it! I knew it! Simone should have told me. Her and Marco are so damned proud. I'd love to help them out. Might be I've got a <laughs> checkered history with the fine city of Aquila. If you clear up any lingering hard feelings, then I could resume doing business there. I'd set up Stick Up As Marco as my official importer. Then wins all around. I used to do cargo hauls for the mayor. And he got really upset that I might have been carrying more than I ought to. We had some words, maybe one fat lip, not mine. And now I'm persona non grata. Well, two paths I see. The trade authorities got a fixer named Tom Starrett. He might be able to facilitate things. Or Mayor Cartwright. God, that windbag. Well, <laughs> if he'd take a sorry, that would work, fat chance. Either way, I expect credits will be on the line. On the back end, I could afford to give you a taste of the action. Not sure it'll cover the fees. Ah, <sighs> music to my ears, friend. Marco doesn't deserve you, but Simone. She's one of the good ones. You square things away. Just let Marco know. Hello there. So good to see you. Good to meet you, friend. Name's Elias Cartwright. I'm the mayor of Aquila City. Now, I've got a memory for faces, and I can't say I've seen yours around here before. I make it a point to introduce myself to everyone who passes through our fine city. As the founder himself once said, there's no substitute for a warm welcome and a friendly smile. Ah, that'd be Solomon Coe, who stuck a shovel in the ground right here over 160 years ago. That first settlement grew to become the city you see today. And let me tell you, it was no small hardship to make that dream a reality. Yes, indeed, this place has a proud and noble history. Why, for some of us, it's practically hallowed ground. That's why I like to meet each and every person who comes here, to make sure they know what a special place our city is. You're more than welcome. 
As I'm sure you know, us folk in the Free Star Collective put great stock in human kindness and generosity of spirit. I like to think that's what sets us apart from our neighbors in the United Colonies. We don't rely on machines or bureaucracy. We rely on each other. I won't pry about what brought you here. That's all of your business and none of mine. However, I'd be more than happy to give you the scoop about the core and Midtown. The core is the oldest district and represents the original settlement dating back to the days of Solomon Co. The descendants of the original settlers still make their home there today. You've got a few choices there. The cantina in the rock is famed throughout the settled systems for serving the best brew that credits can buy. The hitching post ain't been open long, but most folks seem to like it. If you're looking for a quick drink before moving on, give it a try. Aggie's is a bit of an acquired taste, you might say. Folks who prefer a venue that's a little more rough and tumble tend to feel at home there. Like I said, lots of options. You really are new around here, aren't you? Aquila's every bit as dangerous as it is beautiful. There are creatures out there that pose a mortal danger to anyone caught out in the open. Foremost among them is the Ashta. They're quick, strong, clever, and damn good hunters. I'd tell you more, but you might not sleep so good. Thankfully, the wall keeps them out. As long as you stay on the right side of it, you've got nothing to worry about. Ah, you must be referring to The Rock. It's home to the largest and oldest cantina in town. That's also where the Council of Governors holds its occasional strategy meetings. As mayor of the city, I have a seat on the council. The Free Star Rangers are headquartered in the upper floors. They've got the best view of the city. I like to think that means they're always keeping an eye on the rest of us. I have to say, I sleep a little easier knowing the Marshal and his rangers are up there protecting the Free Star Collective. Midtown's where most of the business and trading gets done. It's not as old as the core, because it was built later as the city grew. As the name might suggest, Wallside's the district that runs along the inside of the Great Wall that surrounds the city. It's mostly farmers and other laborers that live down there. They ain't got quite as much space, but it's cheaper, so it all works out. A genuine pleasure talking to you. Never ever go outside the city walls after sundown. Ashta are more aggressive at night. Listen, no offense, but I'm swamped. There wouldn't be a settled systems without the trade authority. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Milena wants back. The trade authority always likes facilitating business, but she's got a considerable bounty on her. Captains associated with us can land here. I even have some credentials on hand. And wouldn't you know it, the captain's name is Blank. If she had set credentials and put her name on them, well, she couldn't land. But if any other name was in there, any name at all, well, I think that might clear it up. The Trade Authority has a separate arrangement. As long as a hypothetical captain kept a low profile, why she could do business here indefinitely. She should talk with us. We have a lot of common ground. I'll contact Milena right away. I'm sure she'll put them to good use. Pleasure doing business with you.
I hope Milena can help us out. If you make the trip to her and turn up nothing, I'll feel terrible. Milena contacted me. She's making me her official importer. I'm not sure how much it pays, but I'll take it. You have no idea what you've done. Liv's got a real chance. Sorry, trying to hold it together. I can't wait to tell Simone. This is the first ray of sunshine we've seen in years. The jewel of the Free Star Collective. I hope Aquila is treating you nicely. Frank's just the latest owner of the old Hersenove Manor, and he's the worst, simply the worst. But it's been a problem since the Hersenove family ran out of heirs. There's no wrong the Cartwrights have been trying to write for decades. And hence, well, I need help. Of course, of course. The last Hossanov was Sahar. Sad tale there. <sighs> By all accounts, when she lost her last grandchild around 40 years ago, well, it broke her. She packed up and just plain left the estate, built some farm far from Aquila City and the protection of its walls. It didn't take long before the Ashtra overran the farm, and just like that, no more Hossanovs. The Hassanovs were one of the early families that took to making a living in space. Very industrious, mainly miners. They settled planet side in the earliest days of Aquila City. They helped good old Solomon Co. a time or two, but they didn't fare well living in full gravity after a couple of generations in zero G. Lots of health issues. Eventually, a string of just terrible luck left only lonely old Sahar Hassanov. Poor lady. And those that were healthy kept leaving Aquila. The call of the stars. Deadly as sin. My granddad warned her over and over it wasn't safe. So I need someone to go to the old Sahar farm, brave the Ashta, and see if she left a will. I swear I'll honor her wishes. Aquila owes her family that much. And if it happens to kick Mr. Big Shot out of the core, well... That'll be a bonus. Sahar left no heirs, no instructions. So everything the Hassanovs owned was in limbo. What happened to the estate? Well, you'd have to be a lawyer to make heads or tails of it. But eventually it wound up on the open market. So slick neon corporate shills could grace our community. If she named any heir. We could get the estate back where it belongs. See things made right. You are a blessing. Zahar's farm is elsewhere on the planet. If you can't handle Ashta, please just don't go. I don't want this whole sordid story to have more tragedy. Be careful, and look out for yourself.
Looks like we got another off-worlder. Like I said, be careful. I'd rather you... I wish my granddad was still with us. What happened? You got it! That's wonderful! But Blake Aldwell... Well, let me think back. There was a Blake. Might be we can track him or any surviving kin down. I'll get my lawyer on this. Frank Langston's in for a rude surprise. And we can maybe see a Hassano return back to the core. No, he won't. But this ain't neon. We've got real laws here in Nikola City. You've more than earned this. You've done the city a great service.